33 db db walkthrough this is your tongue jack you have an on off switch for your light up and down for the tongue this port here is if your jack does not work you can remove this there is a jack handle in the front compartment which i will show you later that you could attach to there and manually move that up and down propane system you have a regulator here you will turn your propane bottles on then select whichever propane bottle you want to run off of until it goes empty then switch to the other onboard battery for if you lose power you'll still have lights this is your battery disconnect it is currently in the on position. The green is on. The red is off. Leave it on green. It will charge your battery and you can run power inside for your lights. This is the jack handle for your tongue jack if needed. Jack handle for your stabilizers. Storage under the front bedroom. Here we have our city water connection. This is so you could hook to the faucet. Just hook you a sanitary water hose here to your faucet wherever you're located. Fresh water fill. This is onboard water. There is a holding tank under the underbelly of this unit. And you can use that tank with the water pump, which I'll show you inside. Located up high here. This is a black tank flush. This is used to clean out your black tank. This is your sewer connection. This is for the forward bathroom. This is your gray side, your black water side. To empty those, you'll just pull the handle. The waste will evacuate from here. Once it's done, close and repeat the process. between the living room slide and the rear slide. This is the back side of your furnace. This is the exhaust. Be mindful that this will be very, very hot when the furnace is running. Just above your furnace is your black tank flush for your rear bathroom. This is a cable inlet. This is if you have cable wherever you're hooked up this is your power cord to your unit it is a twist on twist off righty tighty lefty loosey this is a retention nut just go until it starts to get snug and then let off that's only designed to keep this from wiggling out Just below that, we have the dump valves for your rear bathroom. Again, the left side is your gray, and the right side is your black. Rear storage compartment underneath the rear bed. Unit is pre-wired for a backup camera. Spare tire on the rear. You have stabilizers on all four corners of your unit.
you have an outdoor shower. You have hot and cold control. You can use just like the in, interior shower or faucet. You have two external speakers. 110 outlet and another cable outlet for watching TV outside. Next to your kitchen window is your vent hood for your vent range. You'll want to make sure this is open when you're cooking for the heat to be able to evacuate. This is the access panel for your water heater. The on off switch for the electric is located here, bottom right hand corner, or left hand corner, I'm sorry. And then your awning. Safety thing for your awning is wind is not your friend. If you're having any wind, you'll want to roll that in. Now moving to the interior of the unit. As you come inside to the left hand side is your control panel and your operations for your slides. Starting with the awning, you have a retract which will bring it in and extend. So you'll press and hold your extend. It'll run your awning all the way out to roughly eight foot of coverage. As the awning comes out, we will start to see a couple of tags on either end of the tube. yellow tag there that has the stop sign you'll want to stop it there if not your awning will continue to roll out and roll back on itself if it happens to do this just push the button the opposite direction and roll it in Moving back to your panel, you have indicator lights here. This one will show your battery level. This is your fresh tank. This is the fresh water that's on board, stored in the fresh water tank. You have your black tank, gray one, and gray two. Your first light switch here is for your awning lights. That'll be your porch light. The center switch are for your main cabin lights. And then this third switch here are for the lights just above your sink. This is for your gas side of your water heater. This is the onboard water pump. You'll kick that on to be able to run water in your system. Then you have slide one, which is your bedroom, forward bedroom slide. Slide two is your living room slide. And then this third one is the rear bedroom slide. The safety features on this unit, you have just inside to the left, you have a fire extinguisher here. Your smoke alarm is about midway in your living room. And then your LP alarm is this little black box that's located underneath your refrigerator 
next to your electrical panel. And in your electrical panel, that's where you'll find all your breakers for the 110 side of your unit. And then your fuses for the 12 volt side. If a fuse is to go bad, there will be a little red LED indicator light that'll show you which one is bad. Kitchen sink naturally with a sink cover. Microwave is a standard microwave. Time cook and various other settings that you could utilize. Your vent has the light and the fan. This gla glass top is not a cook top. So to cook, you will roll this up. Turn whichever burner you want to use and use your igniter here to the left to light that burner. The key to this is, is you want to make sure that you can lay your hand on this griddle or this grate before you close this glass. And then you will light your oven the same way. You'll turn this to the pilot. Press and hold this for about 30 seconds and then ignite with the igniter. It will light your pilot and then turn to your desired temperature. And when you turn it off, it will turn your pilot light off as well. This is to, this will light all of these knobs as well as give you an oven light. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. To turn it completely off, you will press and hold this for 10 seconds. It will turn the unit completely off. You do that to turn it on as well. In order to open, you'll push in here. That will disengage it. And then it also helps to hold it. thermostat is located on the wall next to your bathroom. Press and hold will come on. You have a fan mode. Press again and it'll go to cool. You can choose fan speeds by pressing here. You have a high low and an auto. Press once more and you'll get to furnace. Press and hold to turn off. <coughs> this is installed with a fireplace. Your remote has different settings for your light on your rock and then your flame. And then you have a low or a high setting for your heat. Then you have a timer that will go from 30 minutes to nine hours. Moving on to the radio, you have your on off in the center. It is Bluetooth capable. So you have different modes, radio. Over here to your right, you have two separate zones. Zone one is your interior speaker, this here. Zone two are your exterior speakers. So you can choose between. Your mode button is to the right of your power button and you can switch through to choose which one you would like to use. 
and then press to turn back off. The lights that are in the slide out are all push button. You will push in the center of those white puck lights. This light has a center button here, and then you have a USB port located next to that. The forward bathroom, standard shower. Your light switch is located next to the sink. Your vent. If in the bathroom, you'll open that way, turn the fan on. Toilet is a foot flush. Press and hold and it will flush. Standard sink with stinks sink stopper. and your GFI is located next to your sink as well. In the forward bedroom, your light switch is located on the back side of the door. Washer and dryer hookup. King bed. You can access the underneath storage just by lifting the bed. You have 110 plug and USB on either side of the bed. At the head of the bed, you have USB plugs as well. The light above the bed is a push button in the center that is not switch operated. The center bathroom operates the same. Shower, standard sink, foot flush toilet. And then the vent with the fan as well. Open the vent, turn on your fan, and your light switch is located to the right as you go in. In the rear bedroom, much the same. Your light switch is located just to the left as you enter the room. 110 outlet there. USBs at the head of the bed with the push button light above the bed. 110 outlet there. You have storage access same way as before. And you have a vent here. Just above your fireplace and your stereo is your TV backer location. For an antenna over the air antenna, You'll press that button just to the right hand side of your coax. That activates your fixed antenna on top of the unit. You do not have to raise or lower. Once you activate that, you can just channel search on your television and it'll pick up any over the air antennas. This is pre-wired for Wi-Fi setup you would have to go through rvlink.com to find all the pertinent information, or you can contact us at Superior RV and we can help you with that process. Initially, I missed, as we were in this front bedroom, the operation of the uh, front bedroom air conditioner. <clears throat> so, 
this is your temperature. You can go from colder to warmer on your unit. On the left hand side here, this heat optional is not installed here. So you do not have heat on this unit. You have a fan, you have a low, medium and high. And then cool is your AC, low, medium and high. This controls your airflow. This has to stay open slightly or all the way, or this unit will freeze up. To turn on, you'll just turn your switch to the desired position you want to use. And that's the function of your AC for your front bedroom.